Hi, this is Doug Smith from AV Rover, and today I'm going to go over a brief overview of the hardware parts of a 3D AV Rover. In later videos, we'll do the software, the content, things like that. But basically, every 3D AV Rover is built the same in a secure metal cabinet that's all put together with security screws, so nothing can be stolen out of it or changed or the wiring, even when it's being used. So starting at the top, You'll notice an umbilical cord coming out, and that umbilical cord normally has a VGA and a 3.5 audio jack that's controllable by the amplifier, but if you'd like, that can be a, uh, a, an HDMI cable. And that HDMI cable would go right to the projector, so if you want to put a laptop on top and not use the onboard computer, you can do that. On the side here, there's a line that actually goes up and down that, uh, controls the height of the image on the wall. On the other side, you'll notice two convenience outlets. So if you do set your laptop or another device up, you have 110 volt outlets that you can uh, hook those up to. And while I have it turned around, I'll show you there's a speaker on each side and a speaker on the back. And those are capable of handling 50 watts, even though our amplifier is a four channel mixer amp that's a 25 watt amp, so you'll never have a chance of uh, blowing those speakers. And just a short point on that, even if you put in stereo into the amplifier, we come out mono so that all the students in the classroom hear exactly the same thing. And we're gonna do a separate video on the amplifier, so uh, stay tuned for that. So on the top, we have a uh, 3D ready projector that's mounted behind a grill and mounted to that plate so it can't be removed or stolen easily. Below that, we have connections, audio and video connections that allow you to get to the projector and the amplifier in case you want to use an auxiliary source. Below that, as I said, is our four channel mixer amp. And as I said, I'll get into that later, but it has microphone inputs. It has a 3.5 input from the uh, umbilical cord, as well as being connected directly to the onboard computer. There's a drawer under that that's basically uh, about a two or three inch drawer that holds the keyboard, mouse, uh, it holds a sanitizing wand and all the accessories you might need uh, when you're using the 3D AV Rover. Below that is a very robust i5 computer. It's an i5 processor with eight gigabytes of RAM, two, gigabyte, two terabytes, excuse me, of, uh, of data. And all of the content is totally loaded on that when it arrives at the school. So all you need to do is fire it up and it's off and, off and running. The drawer below that is, a, is a, either a four or five space drawer and that's to hold all of the 3D glasses. And the 3D glasses are DLP glasses that work with the projector to give you that 3D image and they use a CR2032 battery. And that battery, by the way, lasts about 100 to 150 hours under normal use. Below that, you'll see a couple connections. One of those is a USB 3 connection that's hooked up to the back of the computer because on the front of the computer, they're USB 2s. And if we send you or you need to load a significant amount of data, it's much easier, as you probably know, to, to load that using a USB 3, which is up to 10 times faster than a USB 2. Below that is a network connection, and even though the onboard connect, uh, computer is uh, uh, Wi-Fi enabled uh, and has a, a wireless card in it, uh, you can also plug it directly into the wall. And then the last thing is a retractable power cord so that you can pull it out. It's 25 feet long, plug it in, use it, and, uh, and uh, then just retract it, make it very easy for you. The only other thing I'd mention is that the heavy duty wheels on it have locking uh, mechanisms in the back that not only lock the rotation of the wheels, but the swivel of the wheels to give it a good sturdy um, footing when you have it in the classroom. But that's it for this video and we'll go on to uh, many others to uh, show you all the things that an AV Rover will do. Thank you.